Fascinating. I had a chance to read about the uh, company before I came. And I guess Kale is a 20-year-old uh, entity, so it's probably seen many incarnations. And uh, I, I, I laud you on your goal of being one of, wanting to be one of the top players, if not number one, because that's a very bold, audacious goal. Uh, I think yesterday I was uh, in another presentation, and, and uh, we were talking about BPO and, and software. Maybe I'll spend a minute. Uh, it was truly aligning what vision I had with the vision you presented. And, and uh, so when BPO first started in, in India and other places, uh, we call it BPO 1.1 or 1.0. It was merely taking uh, transcripts or you took uh, calls for, from customers and recorded it. That kind of went to 2.0, which was to do higher value added transactions within the same chain. I think you're really addressing something beyond that, which I'll call 3.0, uh, because I think you're way out in the future, where you're taking out not just the uh, systems and the processes and the people. You're taking the whole thing out from these guys. And that's, I think, where the future of the industry is going. I think you're one of the leaders in the vision and the concept, and uh, one of the few companies I've seen where this has been implemented. So your challenges are, you know, how do you do it? How do you become number one? Just some observations on that. Uh, one way to do that is through partnerships. Uh, is IATA going to become a partner? Do they take a stake in your company? Uh, how do you uh, commit them totally to endorsing you as the, as the product uh, in this space? And maybe it takes giving them equity or something like that. Uh, the second thing is to do some acquisitions to bulk up your own company. I know you're a public company. Maybe you can get some funds or give some shares, but maybe there's a number three or number four player that you can, you can acquire. Uh, might be another thing. Or you go to uh, Lufthansa and buy out their business. Tell them they're not in the business of accounting. They're in the business of flying planes. Uh, so you might be able to bulk up your business. And uh, the other uh, thing for you to think about in the future is uh, you've really gone now to a per-transaction model. Can you move beyond that to some kind of dollar value model? Because the airlines as an in industry, if you believe, are growing, then why don't you take a share of revenue as opposed to per transaction? Because if you're dealing with Southwest Airlines, you're not going to make that much money. Maybe you'll make much more per transaction, but Lufthansa, you may make more on the dollar amount of the fare. So something to, something to think about. And I think the final challenge you have is what any other company has is execution. You know, just execute, get new customers, get more business. And then offline, maybe we can uh, talk about a name change for the company. Uh, maybe Kale Consultants and uh, Kale is a vegetable in English, uh, but, right, Steve? Very healthy vegetable, <laughs> nonetheless. But there's Star Alliance and One World and all these. Maybe you can become Star World as a new company. So we can talk about that later, but fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.